I called him up, the parts guy, super nice, and I said, I need a toolbox. And he said, what kind? I told him I want a 24 by 24, 60 inch, smooth sides, double doors. And he said, I got eight of them. Good morning, we're in Oklahoma City getting ready to go pick up our toolbox over here at Superior Trailer Sales, which is Look right at the fork, then turn right onto South Morgan Road. A Dorsey trailer dealer. I had been trying to uh, buy a box from Four State up in Joplin for like since last week. And uh, turn right onto South Morgan Road. All right, that's enough. And um, I had not had very much luck. Their uh, phone customer service is not the best. So it finally dawned on me yesterday, why don't I see if there is a Dorset trailer dealer between here and Joplin. So I looked up yesterday and there it is, Superior Trailer. How do I get in there? Oh, right here. Um, and I called him up. The parts guy is super nice. And I said, I need a toolbox. And he said, what kind? I told him I want a 24 by 24, 60 inch, smooth sides, double doors. And he said, I got eight of them. And I said, all right, I will be right there tomorrow to pick one up. So we are going to swing in here. Let's see, I'm trying to find a spot here to get out of the way. quick we got our toolbox and if you guys can see I picked up some more mud flaps I want to replace two of those mud flaps on the trailer oh so uh, here's our toolbox right here so this is the place we're at superior trailer right there these guys man they got lots of flatbed equipment I called him yesterday and uh, he said they got plenty of boxes. Super nice people. But I uh, thought I would show you some of their Dorsey trailers here. This one's got a sliding rear axle on it. Here's a steel giant three axle. Like I said, Dorsey makes a pretty tough trailer. A lot of these oil guys use these Dorsey trailers, steel trailers. But there's a combo. Let's go look at that real quick. And then we'll get out of here. We gotta get up to Joplin. So here's a combo with 
tandems. Looks like, yeah, sliding tandems. It's got the little chain pop-ups right there. Let me see if I can get my hand in there. So, but, all right. All right, let's get out of here, head up to Joplin and uh, get our toolbox put on. Talk to you in a bit. All right, we made it over here to uh, Joplin, Missouri at the Petro. See right there, we're parked way back in the corner. I got the box down off the trailer and we're getting ready to mount it. Now, I made a video about mounting this uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. So I'm not gonna get in too much detail. But basically what I'm going to do is get the crates up, get the box on the crates, get it level. That box on the other side right there is 19 inches from the ground up. We're going to do the same thing and actually those crates are exactly 19 inches. So uh, we'll get the crate up. All we got to do is drill 12 holes. We're going to uh, we got to drill a hole up through here and there and then holes on the side of the the box once uh once we get it out i got my hardware my brackets that i made they're in here in my new little step box this little step right here is probably the best thing i ever did to this truck i got used to uh jumping down off that other truck with the big step and uh i like having that big step and one reason i was getting a box is so i don't have to put my tarp there you guys remember i used to haul my tarp on top of that step so I got all the brackets and the hardware, and uh, we'll get it going, and it uh, shouldn't take long at all. So. truck running it might be a little noisy I got the box put on <laughs> the only problem is my crates are stuck I forgot about that so my crates are stuck so as you heard you just heard the truck pop the air pressure so I'm gonna drop this axle and see if it'll lift it up a little bit so I get the crates out of there so we'll let that uh, we'll let that axle drop See if it'll lift it up enough to uh, get the crates out. If not, I'm gonna have to get some blocks of wood and I can put it under the tires when I let it down and that would lift it up. Let's see here. There it goes. <laughs> All right, I got that one out. And I got that one out. All right. Let me uh, let me turn this truck off, and then we'll talk about the box for a little bit. All right, that's a little better. So it didn't take too long. I don't I don't know exactly. It's a little chilly out here, but uh, that's what it looks like. And it's mounted just like these right here, and then uh, it's mounted just like this one over here. So that's the one I made the video about before, is that one there. So it turned out pretty good. It turned out pretty good. So it's all level and everything. I got a gap back here. 
So we've got about a quarter inch gap right here, all the way in the back so it doesn't rub against the trailer. You can see, that's where I was talking about where I had to notch it to, uh, to fit in there. But, uh, oh, looks pretty good. And then on the inside here, the square like washer things I made there. So, that's it. Um, I gotta clean up my mess. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then uh, take a shower and then uh, we're gonna head over to uh, Springfield. So, but man, trailer's looking good. So, eventually I'm gonna put those tarps in there I have some more uh, padding at home that uh, next time I go home, I'll grab some more padding. Um, the only problem with getting another box is just carrying more junk around. But, uh, anyway, all right, that's it. Let me go get a shower, get cleaned up, and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. We're over here in Straf Stratford, Stratford, near Springfield, Missouri. I don't know if it'll show up due to glass, but this TA truck stop over there, the Loves. We're over here at a place called APU Center. The APU Center. Um, I got a haircut over there at the Joplin Petro there. So I feel a little better about that. Got me a nice shower. We had a good day. Got my box, my toolbox, got it mounted. Hopefully tomorrow goes pretty good, uh, getting this thing put on, the generator put on. I've already booked a load for Thursday, going over to Indianapolis, deliver that on Friday. Uh, then we're going to get back into the rhythm for a little while. But anyway, it's a good day. I'm uh, anxious to see how this generator situation turns out. So uh, that's what I'll be worrying about tomorrow. But anyway, I'll keep you updated, let you know what's going on. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.